the International Video Game Hall of Fame and Museum is not just a dream for Tom Wett, it's not just a dream for Walter Day. It's a dream for the whole industry, and it's absolutely important that someone as important and significant as, 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 as Vitality, as John Vitality Window, puts his support behind us. It's really happy to be a part of uh, the Hall of Fame. It means a lot to me to get the medal. Well, the truth of the matter is, as I stated to Jonathan here, I guess a, a hidden jealousy, or I guess a hidden, the truth is an envy since I respect him so much. 25 years ago when we were kids and we were playing games, we wanted nothing more to play games, to gain recognition for the accomplishments, to turn it into a sport. All these years later, we hope we've contributed to it, but the fact of the matter is now it has become a sport, and Jonathan Fatality is at the top of that sport. He lives the dream that so many of us wanted to live or even pushed for so many years ago. So that's why I have tremendous admiration for him. You know, I, I do, I envy what he does so much. I respect him so much. And uh, it was great to be able to tell him that face to face. It feels nice to be respected uh, for my hard work in video games and competing for so long. And uh, I'm still competing. I still want to compete. So I'm still looking forward to more tournaments and uh, keep going at it. But this is just one step. Uh, for gaming to uh, keep growing and uh, keep getting bigger uh, as time goes along. Jonathan believes in it and it will inspire many other people to believe in it. So he brings with him his inspiration and that's what's most so important. The next time I'm to being honored in the class of 2010 as home world broke uh, sorry, world has held world records in Stargate, Millipede, and Cubert during his video game career. His world I'm gonna have a hard time with this. His world record score on Stargate qualified him to participate in the famous Life magazine photograph that was created on November 7, 1982, at Atomal Island. He was also a competitor in history's first video game world championship, which was, which was filmed by ABC TV's That's Incredible, January 8th and 9th, 1983, at Twin Galaxies in Tomo, Iowa. He came in third place in the qualifying competition, but went on to win the finals in February 1983, during a heated competition filmed in Hollywood. He was also a founding member of the U.S. national video game team and traveled throughout the the country in the summer of 1983. Please welcome to the stage our next inductee, Mr. Ben Gold. This is a pretty cool award. I didn't really have a speech plan, but I did want to share a few thoughts with you because I in the last few days, I've had the opportunity to think back, what was it like um, on that day in November when I was able to meet all these crazy people, other crazy gamers, people that were, is it, well, I was considered crazy in Dallas, but when I met everybody, I realized I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I was just passionate about something. And so I just, when I go back to that time period, of course, I think of Walter Day, who I'd like to give a lot of thanks for because in a sense, we were his, his kids. Um, and I have no idea how he convinced our parents, uh, especially my parents, to come back here five times between November of, 2000, uh, of 1982 and the summer of 1983, especially in the summer. Okay, to go and travel around for like three or four weeks in a bus, um, you know, as the US national video game team. But I'll tell you that these experiences were fantastic. Uh, the camaraderie, the brotherhood, the friendship. This is what I remember from that time period. I remember, uh, well, there's a lot of stories, and again, Billy is the one who remembers all the stories. I just have a big blur. Um, but there are just some, some fantastic people. And to come back here, and for, for many years, for almost 20 years, I've put this behind me. I didn't think about video games. And so it's neat to come back and to, to see how things have changed, to, to be able to welcome some new players, I mean, to see uh, Steve Weeby, uh, to, I'm in awe of, of uh, Fatality.
reality and all the great things that the modern gamers have done. Um, I, and, and to see some, some friends of mine that, that will be inducted in the near future, uh, Steve Sanders and Mark Robichek and some other, uh, um, and just the buddies that we had in, the, uh, for, in that time period. So again, it's, it's been a wonderful journey and uh, I have only uh, love in my heart for the city of Atemwa um, and for the organizers of this event because see, this is the first event and it wasn't perfect. But the thing is this, is that there will be a day when, when people come to Atemwa, Iowa, tens of thousands of people, where, that, where, where we'll be honoring, uh, where, where this will be the Mecca. And, and that's the vision that Walter Day had many, many years ago. And that vision will be fulfilled. there when I did 
perfect Pac-Man in 1999. I was very honored by the fact that Masai Nakamura um, reached out to me and he, he brought me to Tokyo. He brought me to Tokyo with a laundry list of things he was impressed with and he honored me with the Player of the Century Award. He was so kind in his words. He gave me credit for what he believed was the resurgence in classic gaming. Um, he said that the story of the perfect Pac-Man around, ran around the world. Um, he simply kept giving me credit. And as an individual who obviously ran a good company, he was obviously a good human being the way he ran his company. Um, I absolutely consider him the godfather of video games. You know, he's always known as the father of Pac-Man. And the pinnacle part of my career, the absolute highlight, was being in his boardroom in front of him and his programmers in his inner circle of marketers. Um, and the person I have to thank for that, in addition to him, my wife said to me, she said, you have to do what you enjoy in life. Because it makes the rest of life terrible. Oof. So after actually after that everything was easy. That was like seemed like the most difficult part. And she, you know, I had to give way in my gaming to her because she wanted a further education. We had children. Uh, the children weren't toddlers anymore, and I had to be more of a father. But um, I see in the spirit of my wife and my children the determination do their very best. I don't, <clears throat> I don't think I see it any more or any greater than I do in my son. Um, I hope when I'm an old man and I look back on the situation, I hope I can say that I'm as good of a man as I see him. My son Billy. <laughs> um, he's in the front row. And I want him to come up here and get this. <laughs> he was in there playing games when it happened, but um, now that all that's out of the way, the truth is video games burned in my personality and competition to be the very, very, very best, no matter what happened. Um, I would not allow, and I can speak for everybody, every player here, you don't allow an obstacle to get in front of you and be empowered. There's simply a way around, a way over and under everything, and that's what being a video game champion is all about. And again, I try to live that in my life to the point that I try to pass it on. And uh, I try to pass it on to the people around me too. Thank you very much.
push each other to new heights. And I think without each gamer doing what they do best, we wouldn't be as, as good as we are. So thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. 